my name is Rebecca and today I will show you how to create a Web3 community on the World State platform. So right now we are on the main page of the World State and next we need to navigate to the TWS web app. So now we're in the TWS web app and our next step is to connect our crypto wallet. We choose MetaMask and connect the wallet. So this is already a citizen's wallet. The wallet has enough world state coin and sufficient Matic. Matic is necessary to cover the fees. So there was the Matic. And here's the world state coin. So this is a citizen's account and here is an NFT passport. So next, we move to the community tab. In the community tab, you immediately see the communities that the citizen is part of. Um, this citizen is part of one community to the moon. Um, and above, you will find the found new community button. By clicking this button, you can navigate to the page to create a new community. So we press found new community and land on this page where the creation of any new community begins. Here you will see um, all the boxes where you need to provide all the necessary information about the community. First and foremost is the community's name and today we'll be creating the TWS education community. It's short name TWS edu TWS edu next uh, the community slogan the TWS team has already prepared a charter for their TWS education community which is here which also includes a slogan that I will copy and paste into the form in the TWS app And next, you also need to provide a community description. We have it ready too. So I'll just copy and transfer it to the TWS app. Next, we need to upload the community logo. You can also add a flag, but that is optional. The TWS edge you has a um, a flag design, so I will add that. Uh, now we need to upload the community charter itself. This will be the main document for this specific community, detailing all principles, goals and ideas. Um, it's crucial to note that all documents on the TWS platform must adhere to specific standards and for convenient standardised document templates approved by the citizens have in fact already been developed. Um, these templates should be used as basis and followed in terms of format. There's a link here where you can download the community charter template. Um, so just edit it by adding your community's specific information and use it to draft any community's charter. Um, the World State team is always ready to help any citizen with charter development. Um, in this case, the TWS Education Charter was developed using this template and it consists of several sections detailing um, main principles. Key objectives, um, the mission. And it also contains information about membership and government in the community. So now I'll simply upload this pre-prepared charter to the TWS app. Um, so Dan, the charter is uploaded. Um, we've now filled in the basic foundational information about the community, as you can see. 
Um, so what exactly is a community on the TWS platform? A community is essentially a protocol by which the community operates. This is on-chain and it consists of a set of smart contracts. Um, as you can see here, when creating each community, a set of smart contracts is automatically deployed to the blockchain specifically for that community. Um, and thereafter, the community operates according to the protocol executed by these smart contracts, as you can see here. Um, and each community can customise each of these smart contracts during its creation, thus creating its own unique protocol. And as they progress, the community will also be able to adjust these settings to suit um, changing needs. Um, for example, the primary smart contracts deployed when creating a community are the community membership card, draft community rule, community rule nominee for leader and community leader. And when creating a community, we can immediately adjust the settings of each smart contract based on the community's objective, as you can see here. So now let's try to adjust the settings of the community membership card. First is the minting price. Uh, we want to make minting free for this community, so we'll just change that to zero. Ambassador price would also be zero. And the ambassador reward will also be set to zero. This means essentially that joining this community will be completely free. There are a few additional settings, among them PowerPoints for minting. This is how many PowerPoints each member will get for minting. Uh, we'll leave it at zero, the default value. There's also separate setting allowing the restriction of certain citizens who are behind on any mandatory fees. But for this community, we'll leave it at zero. We'll disable it. This means that um, those in debt will not be restricted from participation. So I click complete and we can see that we've changed the default values to new ones. For example, we changed the ambassador reward from 52 to zero world state coins. So now we'll move on to the draft community rules. There are more settings here that we can change. We'll adjust the minting price. Again, we'll set it to zero to make minting free. We'll also leave the default value of 10 for PowerPoints for voting. And PowerPoints for minting will leave a default value of 50. The minimum number of PowerPoints required for minting as well, 50, um, zero, which won't change, yeah, allowing someone with no PowerPoints to um, mint. The limit for in-progress NFTs will keep a default value of two, so each member can initiate voting up and up to two draft community rules simultaneously. And the expiration deadline refers to the time within um, which a community rule can be minted based on this draft community rule after its approved voting. And after this period, the draft community rules uh, status changes from accepted to expired. Um, we can extend it by three days. And if they don't mint the community rule within these three days, it will be no longer possible. The voting period for the draft community rule is by default two days, which can be set between two and seven. We'll just set it at three. And the um, yeah, votes percent for approval denotes the percentage of votes from the total number of members participating in the vote that are required to approve the rule. We'll keep it at two thirds or 66.7%. This value can be changed from 51 to 100 percent. As you can see here. Um, the quorum denotes the minimum number of community members who need to participate in the vote to make a decision. The default value is 10 and we'll keep it there. Mint cooldown is a limiter that sets the amount of time that must pass before a community member can mint another draft community rule. Essentially, this is one of the tools to combat spam.
And the minimum members to min sets the minimum number of community members required before members can start minting draft community rules. We'll reduce it to 50 members. So I, I press complete after having adjusted all settings and we can see here which settings we've changed and which ones were left at their default value. Next we'll move to community rule. There are only two settings here and we'll make minting free and keep the amount of PowerPoint submitting at the default value, which is 100. And in the same way, we'll uh, adjust all the other smart contracts. So next, we're setting up the next one. Um, it's called nominee for leader. And we'll set the minting price to zero. PowerPoints for voting are set to 10. PowerPoints for minting will set to 50. And we'll keep the minimum PowerPoints for minting at zero and also the decision quorum at 10%. Don't set a minimum number of votes, uh, so we'll leave it at zero. And the minimum number of members needing the community, we'll leave it at 50. And the last smart contract is the community leader. We'll set their NFT minting price to zero leave the PowerPoints for minting at 100 and complete. Thus, we've set up all the smart contracts that will be deployed on the blockchain and by which the community will operate. So let me just remind you again that these settings can be changed later, but a separate vote will be required to do so based on the rules that we've just made. And after everything, um, I'm going to check carefully that all the data I've entered is correct. Review the settings of all smart contracts again to ensure that all the details are accurate. So this is what we've just changed. Yep. And now we press confirm. So that we familiarize ourselves with the Docs Standard Act and the community charter is drafted in accordance with this document. And once everything is ready, we can initiate the community creation process and click start and execute all transactions. And after minting, we land on our community page. However, after minting the NFT community, the community does not get created immediately. An automatic voting procedure is initi initiated that lasts three days. And then after that, it will be made. So we can see all the information. Uh, for the community to be found, it must get at least 50 votes from the World State citizens within these three days. And if it secures 50 votes or more, the community will be automatically created. And here we can see the voting ends in two days, 21 hours. Uh, this voting procedure is in place as a defence against spam and also to gauge the interest of the TDOS citizens and the community's foundation. Given the number of citizens, securing 50 votes generally is quite manageable. Um, and citizens vote only yeah. There is no option to vote nay. After initiated, 10 citizens have actually already voted, but we still need 40 more. And voting will continue for another two days. And if we do achieve 50 votes in this period, the TWS education community will be set up. And its community page will appear in the community library. And all necessary smart contracts will be deployed automatically. And to become members of this community will be possible.
we can do the settings we set up for our community um, on the page itself. Here we can see the voting process. We can also see the NFT certificate right now. The certificate shows the status as in progress. But once the voting concludes and the community is established, the status will change. Um, so I ask you all to support vote and create decentralised communities on our platform. If you need any help in uh, creating a com community, reach out to the TWS team. They're always here to assist should you have any difficulties or questions. And the support service will explain everything. Help draft the charter. And if you have any questions about the he settings, don't hesitate to ask.